Hey guys! I've been adding watercolors to my collection over the past few months, and I thought it was time to swatch them all, do some comparisons, and talk about why I chose these particular paints. Everything is split into two videos. I posted my swatches of my new Daniel Smith paints a few days ago, and I'll link that in the top right corner card thingamabob. This video is dedicated to Mgram paints. Like with the last video, the paints are arranged alphabetically, since I don't have enough to go in rainbow order. The first paint is Anthraquinone Blue, or PB60. I wish I could say I didn't buy this paint because of a YouTuber, but no. <laughs> Denise Soden from In Liquid Color sold me so hard on this color that I knew I needed to get it. It is such a beautiful inky blue, almost like a very deep slate blue. This is known as Indian Throne Blue by a lot of different brands and is notorious for having quite the drying shift, but Mgrams is known to have less of one. The problem with all of these Mgram paints is that I don't really have any paints to compare any of them to because they're all so totally different from what I currently have in my collection. The closest to Anthraquinone Blue I have is maybe Da Vinci's Prussian Blue, though it looks super green when you have them side by side. Meanwhile, Daniel Smith's Thalo Blue Red Shade is a much brighter blue and it's also a bit lighter. I don't normally fall for semi-opaque colors, but oh my goodness, Cobalt Teal is gorgeous. Cobalt Teal can be PG50 as well, but Mgram uses PB28 to create this amazing aqua color. Often Cobalt Teal is kind of a bit greener, but I love how blue Mgram's version is. It granulates, but in a really beautiful way. It is dreamy, that's really the only word for it. The closest colors to Cobalt Teal that I have in my collection would probably be Da Vinci's Thalo Turquoise, which is much darker and also greener, and Sennelier Le Petit's Thalo Turquoise, which is bluer, but it's almost similar in the lightness. Neither Thalo Turquoise is granulate, which is typical for a Thalo paint. One of those paints I really wanted was a decent quinacridone gold. You can't get the original paint anymore as the pigment has been discontinued, but there are a few hues that still have that bronzy orange mass tone and that sheer out to this brighter yellow. Mgram's nickel quinacridone gold is made of PY150 and PO48, and it is everything I wanted. It does exactly that. The weird thing about it though, is that it looks like it's an olive greeny brown color in the pan. Also, like all of Mgram's paints, is made with honey and never fully dries down, and I have made the mistake of sticking my fingers in it on more than one occasion and ending up with yellow everywhere. Da Vinci's Hansa Yellow Deep is almost a similar orange yellow to the sheared out color you get from Nickel Quinacridone Gold, but in these swatches, they look absolutely nothing alike. They do work really well together, though. Permanent Green Pale is one of those convenience colors I know I don't need, but it's just such a stunning, vibrant chartreuse green. I'm such a sucker for bright colors, and this color can so easily look really neon. I should mention, Mgram lists this color as being transparent, but it is definitely only semi-transparent at best. It is made from PG7, which is Thalo Green Blue Shade, and PY3, which is Hansa Yellow Light, but PY3 is a semi-transparent pigment, so I imagine that's where the lack of transparency comes from. Like with all the other Mgram shades, I don't have anything that is really a good dupe for this. Green-yellow from Sennelier is almost similar, but it is several shades greener and it's darker. And now we have one of those colors I'm really quite embarrassed that I didn't already have in my palette. Thalo Blue Green shade is made from PB15 colon 3, like pretty much any other phthalo blue green shade in existence. The fact that I waited until now to have a primary magenta like quinacridone rose and a primary cyan like phthalo blue green shade is really super sad. I mean, I did grow up in the Canadian school system where the primary colors are red, blue, and yellow, so 
I guess habits were kind of hard to break, but even so, I'm so happy to finally have a proper CMY primary triad. Fallow Blue Green Shade is greener than its Red Shade sibling. I mean, I guess that's obvious from the name. And I own Daniel Smith's version of the Red Shade. Sennelier Le Petit doesn't have any pigment information, but their primary blue looks like it has to be made with pigments similar to Thallo Blue Green Shade. It's slightly less green, but they are otherwise really quite close. I feel like in swatches this one comes out far more saturated in color, but this final paint is Sap Green, made from PY110 and PG7. Sap green is sort of a mossy green, almost neutral in comparison to the other greens in my collection. This is another one they claim to be transparent, but it isn't quite. Of all the brands I've worked with, I do find Mgram are the ones who are most inconsistent with saying a paint is transparent and having it not be completely transparent, but with sap green, it is so close to transparent that I'm not going to be mad about it. Not that I would get mad anyway, that's a silly thing to get mad about. Nothing in my collection is like Sap Green. The only other green in my palette right now is Thallo Green Yellow Shade, which is slightly bluer, and it is much more vivid. So these are the new Mgram paints I've added to my collection. I really love Mgram. I think they make amazingly pigmented colors that are easy to control, they're easy to mix, and they all tend to be non-granulating aside from a few notable exceptions like the cobalt teal. Their color range is not as wide as Daniel Smith, however, so I can't see myself ever going completely to the Mgram side. Not to mention Daniel Smith has those kind of like special effects paints, the paints that have really cool ways of separating and granulating, and then of course the Prima Tags, which are made with actual freaking gemstones. I do have a video where I swatch my entire watercolor collection, not including these last two videos, so I will link that above in the top right if you haven't seen it yet. Thank you so much for watching me ramble about paint. Also, next week is my one year anniversary video, so I hope to see you then. Have an awesome day. Bye.